All right. Shalom, Yasharalim. This is another GMS uh, Raleigh, North Carolina collaboration once again through the spirit of Pai Yahabai Shinyar Shai. You know, this is GMS Mission Successful and Brother Nakwam. GMS Stay Woke, Brother Nakam. All right, before we open up and begin this lesson, we want to give all honor, glory, and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakakodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still got her to the highways and byways and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and her rule well. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy, and salutations unto Yaakim's out there who is pushing this truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Yahweh, What are people here? What are they forbear? Now back at it with another lesson to the spirit of Pai Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, You know, the name of this lesson is going to be called uh, Fire Will Sanitize America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, you know. So without further ado, we'll get we'll in the first scripture. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Whatever scripture you got. This is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. Mm -hmm. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Right, and this is going in on the ancient war, ancient wars back in the ancient world, man. You know, you had you had two uh how should I say two countries going against each other, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> running against, running running towards another, yelling and screaming, mm -hmm. you know, trying to uh let that wild spirit come out, man. You know, that's right. You know, because like the brother of beautiful saying, you know, when you had these ancient wars going on, you have one on group of people on one side of the battlefield. And you have another group of people on the other side of the battlefield. And the next day, you know, they'll take off running to each other, you know, yelling, screaming, hollering, mm -hmm. like the brother beautifully said. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as they get to each other, what would they do? Their swords will be clinging against each other, you know, making a whole bunch of noise. Mm -hmm. And also the swords will be hitting the shield. Making a loud, uh, whole bunch, uh, loud noise, a whole bunch of noise. Right. You see, from uh, from another person trying to avoid getting cut or stabbed. Mm -hmm. You see, so that's how ancient wars are fought. With, um, with loud noise. That's right, that's right. You know? It reads on. And garments rolled in blood. Exactly. There was a whole lot of bloodshed during those ancient wars as well, man. You know? It was so much bloodshed, man, that hey, the ground became red. You know? In some of those wars, man. You know? Hey, through the spirit, we might look, look up. Uh, later on, what was the bloodiest war that was ever fought? Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm pretty sure the whole the whole field was full of was was red. But first it was green, then it turned red. That's right, bro. You know, it reads on, but this shall be with burning and fuels of fire. Right, but this war shall be fought with burning and fuels of fire. Now, if this can, if this not talking about World War Three, I don't know what it's talking about, man, because. Even the even the first two wars, it was fought with uh, ground troops and guns. You know, of course, you, we all know about Hiroshima, Nagasaki, about the atomic bomb. Mm -hmm. You know, but this war right here is going to be fought with all ICBM missiles from every country because now every country has capability of an ICBM intercontinental missile, man. You know, back in World War Two and World War One, they didn't, they didn't nobody have atomic bombs, man. But America, you know, that's right. You know. When you, and, and it's obvious to see, you know, if you got the understanding of the spirit of the Lord, it's obvious to see that that's how this place is going to go out. Mm -hmm. By those 200 million ICB missiles. That's because, right. Because when you turn on your news, what do you see? You constantly see Russia, China, Syria, North Korea, Turkey, um, and so forth on, talking about sending those missiles to destroy this place called America. And you see America talking about sending missiles back their way. You see, so that's how this, this war, you know, this battle is going to be fought. It's going to be fought with 200 million ICBM missiles. Con, 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 that's right. You got a precept? Matter of fact, yeah, you second Peter, uh, the third chapter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a quick point that's in this uh, study Bible. Yep. Second Peter, chapter 3. Verse 10. Verse 10, okay. Yeah. This is Second Peter, chapter um, 3, verse 10. Mm -hmm. But the day of Yahweh Bashim mm -hmm. will come as a thief in the night. Exactly. It's going to come unexpectedly, man. While everybody's living their life, not 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 have the Lord in their minds, man. That's when the Lord's going to appear out of nowhere and destroy these people, man. You know, it's like a thief uh, comes and and, and do, a, do a home invasion while you least expect it. You know, that's the same way how the Lord Yahweh Shah is going to come back, man. 
That's right. You know, just like a thief in the night, man. That's right. He's going to catch two-thirds of these so-called Negro Latin Americans and your wickedness and your sins. Mm -hmm. It reads on, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Exactly, man. The heavens is talking about Esau's voiceship, man. You know, mainly here in America, man. It's going to have passed away with a great noise. What is that great noise? That great noise is talking about the ICBM missiles hitting this place, man. You know, that's what that's talking about. That's right. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Exactly. Everything that you see, man, is made of elements. Your bodies, the poles, the trees, the animals, you know, everything, man. Everything is going to melt away with fervent heat. The word fervent means very hot. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe one ICBM missile is over 200 million degrees Fahrenheit, man. So the elements, which is everything that you see, is going to be melted away by those intercontinental ballistic missiles. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. The earth also, mm -hmm. and the works therein, mm -hmm. so like it, the earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. Right. And that's and not talking about the actual earth, man. No, that's not. It's talking about Esau's rulership, man. And his works that the Esau's putting in, which is that new world order, is going to get burnt up, man. Yahweh Shema is going to uh, intervene, you know, and, and uh, completely uh, ruin the plans of the so-called white man Esau, even starting with their elites, man. Because their elites, they want to fulfill their uh, new world order, but the Lord is not going to allow that to happen. Sorry. As a matter of fact, can I can turn this light yep, real quick? Because there's a... Uh, there's a commentary in my study Bible, and, you know, I found this a while back, man. It's, it's heavy. You know, this proves that ICBM missiles are in the scriptures, man. You know, contrary to popular belief. Now, this is Second Peter 3, verse 10, commentary in the study Bible. And it reads, the element shall melt with fervent heat, as the scripture says, certainly could refer to a nuclear holocaust. And so, a nuclear holocaust, man. Holocaust, I pretty much, I think that means fire, man. So, nuclear refer to a nuclear war a nuclear fire man you know the scriptures matter of fact I read that one more time the elements shall melt with fervent heat certainly could refer to a nuclear holocaust so that proves in the scriptures that the um that, that the scholars know that the intercontinental ballistics is going to be the end of america man you know babylon aka babylon the great you got another preset bro yep this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 5. They caught they come from a far country, even from the end of heaven, even Yahweh Bashimal Shai, and the weapons of his in the nation. And that's right. And what's the weapon, you know, of Yahweh Bashimal Shai's in the nations, you know, that righteous anger? Those ICBM missiles, those 200 million ICBM missiles. You see, those 200 ICBM missiles. You know, that's what's going to come from a far country, even from the ends of heaven. Mm -hmm. You see, because, again, when you turn in your news, you see you constantly see Russia, China, Syria, North Korea, and so forth on. You constantly see them talking about sending missiles to the strangest place called America. You see, so the, the inner nation of Yahweh Bashim which is those missiles, they're going to come from a far country, even from the ends of heaven, that these other nations are going to send to the strangest place called America. That's right. It reads on. To destroy the whole land. That's right. And again, what's going to destroy this whole land? America, those 200 million ICBM missiles that these other nations are going to that these other nations are going to let off. And that's it on that. Oh, that was it on that? Yep. Oh, beautifully said, brother, through the spirit of Paya by Shimon Shah, man. This intercontinental ballistic missile are going to destroy the whole land. The scripture says, um, Matter of fact, Amos 9 and 8. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that the Lord is going to destroy this sinful kingdom from out the face of the earth, man. It's going to be completely destroyed, desolate. You know? It's going to say that in the uh, Amos the ninth chapter, in the 8th verse. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Shai are upon the sinful kingdom. And then what, is that? What, what are the eyes of You know, the angels are going around watching. And, and recording everything that people say, do, and think, man. And sending it back to the Heavenly Father. You know, so the Heavenly Father uses angels to see through them, man. You know, to, to check out and see what's going on, even though he already knows it. You know, and what's that sinful kingdom? That sinful kingdom we're talking about here in America, man. But this place swears that they, they swear 
that this is a, a, a God fearing country. They swear it on the Bible, man. But they transgress every single law that is written in the Bible, man. That's right. Willfully. That's why this this place is known as the sinful kingdom because they go against everything that the scripture says. Mm -hmm. It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And Yahweh Shemashah said he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. What is he going to use to destroy America from off the face of the earth? Those intercontinental ballistic missiles and plus those laser beams from the so-called UFOs, which, which are the chariots of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. He's going to completely destroy this place, man. This place is going to become a desert, according to the book of Revelation. Yep. It says, saving that will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Right, exactly, because he's not going to destroy all the Israelites, man. He's going to save the uh, the elect and the one-third, man, from the up and coming destruction that's about to fall here in America, man. You know, that's what you call mercy. You know, those those are going to be the ones that was predestined to make it out of here, you know, and that was uh that was with Lawyer Howard Shah creating everything that you see, you know. Those little would be a part of that number, starting off with our apostles and our elders of the great millstone. Saving that would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, mm -hmm. says Yahweh Bashimal Shah. Right, and this is thus saith the Lord. This is that's also a promise, too. Because the scripture says, um, uh, uh the man is not the Lord, not the man that he shall lie, right? Yep, yep. This was a promise made by the Lord to the uh, Israelites, man. He said he's not gonna destroy the elect out of the nation of Israel, man. He's gonna deliver them, he's gonna save them. From that destruction that's about to come, man. You know? This is Revelation chapter 11. Mm. Verse 14. Yep. 14. The second woe is past. Right. And behold, the third woe coming quickly. Right. What is that? What does woe mean? Woe meaning death and destruction. So the second woe represents the second world war because war, the world wars are, 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 are nothing but chaos and destruction, man. So World War II is passed, and it says, Behold, the third woe coming quickly, which is talking about World War III. And we're living in that time now to where it's already here, man. It just need a little bit more push. You know what I'm saying? It's it's talking right now. So it is the Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna have to uh push it a little bit more for them to uh actually turn this into an actual war, man. You know? And that's right. And when this third war war, you know, pops off, mm -hmm. you know, when things get heated up. That's when the ICB missiles gonna get start getting shot. Mm -hmm. You know, the IC missiles gonna you know come and do damage. That's right. It's gonna utterly uh, which means uh, I mean desolation, desolate I mean the uninhabited man. You know, this place is gonna be totally destroyed. Yeah, something else. Yeah. Okay, kind, kind, kind. Yeah, man. So that's what this lesson is about, man. Uh, the um. The ICBM missiles and the laser beams are going to sanitize America from all the filth that's on this place, man. You know what I'm saying? This place was established off of rape, robbery, and murder and wickedness, man. So with that fire, which is a cleansing agent, is going to come and and, and cleanse and, and uh, what's it say? Uh, sanitize this place, man. You know, it's like hand sanitizer. It says it gets rid of the germs that's on your hands. That's what those intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to be for America, man. You know. What's that scripture say? The earth should shake to and fro. Um, is that an Isaiah? I think it is. <laughs> I think, it is, I think it's an Isaiah. Let me see, thirty-four. If I'm not mistaken, it's like I can barely. That's for one minute. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm gonna get this priest up for me. This is the book of Isaiah thirty-four and five. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Right, and that sword that the Lord is talking about is those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Those ICBMs. And heaven represents Esau's rulership. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, right? And Idumia is a Greek word of saying Edom. And who is Edom? The so-called white man, the Caucasian race today. And it reads, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Exactly. We already know that that's talking about the so-called white man, Esau Edom, man. You know? And the Lord's going to uh, completely destroy them, man. You know? He just said the sword shall be bathed in heaven, man. You know? So it's going to be a lot of destruction. A lot of uh, chaos. Yeah, I found it. You found it? Yeah. What, what is it? Isaiah 24. 24? 20. 24 and 20. Mm-hmm. This is Isaiah chapter 24, verse 20. Mm -hmm. The earth shall rail. Mm -hmm. To and fro like a drunkard. Mm -hmm. 
and shall be removed mm -hmm. like a cottage. Mm -hmm. And the transgression thereof mm -hmm. shall be heavy upon it. Mm -hmm. And it shall fall mm -hmm. and not rise again. And what is that talking about? That's talking about Esau's bullshit. That's talking about here at Babylon the Great. Because the um the main destruction is going to be here, right here in America, man. Just like the main deliverance is going to be here in America, man. But in other parts of the world are going to get hit by ICBM missiles too. The land of Israel is going to be completely wiped out as well, man. That land has to be cleansed, but that land is polluted, man. Just like here in America. This land is the most polluted man of land of them all, man. And real, and, oh, so, God. No, and, no, 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 no. You like, bro, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And the point of that, because it said what? In the beginning, Isaiah 24 and 20, the earth shall rail to and fro like a drunkard. Mm -hmm. You see, because when you look at a person who, who you know, who drinks a lot and they, they you know, and um, they, they drunk, staggering. what? They be staggering. They be all yep. over the place. Yep. You see, they be on um, going from left to right. Mm -hmm. You see, so when those 200 ice missiles hit this land called America, this place is going to shake to and mm -hmm. from like a drunkard, like a, like a drunkard, like a person who's drunk. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be shaking. By the power of those missiles. Yep. You know, because the spirit of the Lord is going to be on those missiles. You know? That was it on that? Yep. You got anything else? Not, not off the top of my head. All right, come on. We'll close it out on that then. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Lord, we you that this video is edifying for y'all can that us watching through the spirit of the power. Yeah, how about you, Shah? We pray that this lesson has been edified through the spirit, that you was fed well. You know, before we close out, we want to give our honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, our double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the kings out there who is pushing this truth in the four corners of the earth. With that, I want to say Shalom. Shalom. Wa Kwam Yashuralam.